Imagine this. You pay $440,000 for a report. It is meant to guide how your country penalizes unemployed citizens who miss welfare obligations. You expect data, detail, and due diligence, the kind of work only an army of analysts can deliver. Instead, you get hallucinations, AI hallucinations. Now that's exactly what happened when Deloitte delivered a report to Australia's Department of Employment and Workplace Relations. The document was so error-ridden, it had to be republished. It cited non-existent research papers. There were examples of made-up court cases. Reports even found mentions of fake professors. The main report was uploaded on the 4th of July. It was then re-uploaded to the Duo website last week. This is after the Australian Financial Review reported that errors were found. And here's the twist. Deloitte didn't deny using AI. In the updated report, the firm quietly admitted this. It said it had used OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0 model through Microsoft Azure. Deloitte also agreed to refund part of the money, a token gesture for the troubles. But Deloitte isn't the only one. More and more consultancy firms are outsourcing thinking to AI. Last year, Australia's Senate published reform suggestions. This was based on case studies that never existed. They were using Google's Bard AI, which hallucinated. Now that somehow made their way into an official document. The Senate had to issue a public apology. Across the Pacific, McKinsey was embroiled in something similar. It released a healthcare impact report that miscalculated patient risks. And that's because an AI model synthesized faulty data. Entire sections had to be retracted. And it's not just firms. Governments haven't fared better. The UK Home Office had suspended its AI visa assessment system. And this after it began exhibiting bias so severe it might as well have been called robo-racism. Also in the Netherlands, an algorithm meant to detect welfare fraud falsely accused thousands of innocent families. And the scandal was so devastating, it led to the Dutch government's resignation in 2021. So this has become a big problem because every consultant's favorite word is due diligence. Ironically, it's also the first thing they seem to skip when it comes to AI. It's not because they're lazy. It's because the consulting industry's business model rewards speed over accuracy. Think about it. Big firms make money by selling insights faster than their competitors. AI makes that possible. So the temptation to use it is always there. And let's be honest. Deloitte refunding a few hundred thousand dollars doesn't change much. The clients will still hire them. The cycle will continue because what they're really buying isn't accuracy. It's a reputation insurance. Hiring Deloitte or McKinsey signals that you're serious about governance, even if the work itself was generated by a chatbot. Until accountability becomes as important as branding, AI will keep writing reports that no one reads until it's too late.